happy summer. I'm Brie of United TV and we are in Boca Raton, Florida for Namastasi's third annual International Yoga Day. People of all ages are coming together, focusing on the positive aspects mentally and physically from yoga, not just here in Boca, but around the world. Let's go check it out. We are with the mastermind behind today, Corbin Stacy. Thank you for having us. Thank you. We want to know, how did this day come to be? How did this day come to be? Well, the United Nations named it International Yoga Day because it's summer solstice. Uh, and we got a proclamation last year from Mayor Susan Haney. So she kind of gave us a key to this city and endorsed what we were doing. And the things just kept growing and evolving. The community aspect, I mean, as you see here at the Step and Repeat, all the people that are standing up for Alzheimer's Association and for, you know, just coming together for that common cause of yoga, you know, the community vibe. It's alive. So today is also International Yoga Day and the Alzheimer's Longest Day. How did yeah. the co-collaboration come yeah. to be? The co-collaboration is interesting. So because of the proclamation, Mayor Susie Haney um, thought it would be a great idea for us to kind of join forces. It just made sense. We were already the Tri-County Tribe, bringing people from Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and Palm Beach into Boca. So we just kind of made it the longest tagline too. Right. So it's Namaste International Yoga Day, the Tri-County Tribe, the longest day. Beautiful. And what can we expect here today? Lots of stuff going on. We had some silent yoga, which is my new studio, Yoga Home in Pompano Beach. It's our signature move. It's something that we have on our schedule that normally people find as an event like today. Mm -hmm. So it'll actually be on our schedule. That's wow. our quote unquote signature move. That was awesome. And we've got some acro demos. Uh, we've got Suzanne Boyd here from CBS that it'll be our master of ceremonies like you, our field correspondent. Uh, we've got Mayor Susan Harney showing up again and delivering another proclamation. So you heard it here first. We're actually getting our second one tonight, which is wicked cool. All, of course, in support of Namastasi and our 40th scholarship recipient that we just gave, growing leaps and bounds, as well as to bring awareness to the Alzheimer's Association. So we're just going to continue to you know, spread the awareness and to give back. Really, that's what it's about for us. Thank you for all that you do for our community and the world. Thank you. She's legit. Awesome. With Nama Mama and Aunt Cindy, tell us what brings you here today. Well, my son, Corbin Stacy, and the cause for the Alzheimer's. This is what's brought us here. Um, my best friend here, her dad is an Alzheimer's patient and we care for him and it's just bringing awareness to it. And we came here from Virginia to sponsor my nephew, Corbin Stacy, also with his new business. and just to um, raise the awareness of just how difficult it really is to take care of someone, you know, with Alzheimer's and the different stages that they go through. And I had to make the decision two years ago. I've been taking care of him for four. And two years ago, I had to make the decision because I just could not lift him and do the things that he needed. And so he is in a very, very nice facility right now that specializes in dementia, Alzheimer's disease. And, and he's doing very well, very well. In his apartment. In his apartment. <laughs> <laughs> We're here with two of Namastasi's ambassadors. What exactly does it mean to be a Namastasi ambassador? It is really cool actually. So I started off just as a regular student um, and then last year at International Yoga Day, I actually won a student scholarship through Namastasi organization. So I am back here for round two this year. We are raffling off again um, some more scholarships to come check out Namastasi Yoga and Yoga Home. Fingers crossed and tell us about your experience. Yes, yeah, so I'm very blessed. Um, I was chosen by Corbin to get my 500 RYT teaching hours. I've been teaching for a couple years and we both taught together and now I'm going to be teaching at the new studio. So I'm very blessed and excited for this opportunity and to continue to share my passion with South Florida and the rest of the world. Incredible. We're with DJ Sal over here. How do you tie into today? Well, I know Corbin through my wife. Uh, she's actually one of the ambassadors of Namaste Yoga. She's the fourth ambassador of it. Uh, she introduced me to Corbin, got me into yoga. Uh, I started realizing how you know it could impact me and benefit me, um, and that's when I got involved with it. Uh, brought what I, my knowledge. You know, I do sound production, custom home theater. Um, 
So I started getting involved and uh, rocking it for Corbin. Let's rock out, have a good time. Raise the vibration. Yeah, community love. We're with Master of Ceremonies, CBS 12 news anchor, Suzanne Boyd. So you're a yogi, you know Corbin. What yeah. brings you here today? Well, I started yoga probably about six years ago when I had some health issues that doctors said would never be fixed, but yoga fixed them, which was amazing. Um, I first met Corbin probably about three years ago at a class in Deerfield Beach at Anatora, and he came into this class, a bundle of energy. I loved him. I loved him from the moment I met him, and I've been to several of his classes, and he recently just said, I have this cool yoga event. Will you come and see it? So that's how it came about. with wonderful Mayor Susan Haney. We're so grateful to have you. I see you're holding some important documents. What are those? Oh, I am. It's such an honor to be here this evening at the Meister Park Amphitheater to deliver two proclamations. Our first proclamation is International Yoga Day, which is wonderful. They do that every year, and this year they partnered with the Alzheimer Society to proclaim the longest day to bring awareness to the Alzheimer disease. So we're so thrilled to have these two wonderful organizations that uh, bring awareness and wellness to our community and to be able to come here tonight and proclaim both of these organizations is really a wonderful thing for our city. It's all about coming together in community. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Do hereby proclaim June 21st, 2017 as International Yoga Day here in Boca Raton. That's where you are. Frank is the VP of Namastasi Yoga and Zoraida is the newest ambassador. What does this mean to you? This means a lot to me. It means everything to be part of this amazing organization. But I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to all the volunteers that have made this day happen. They are the heart and the soul of our community. Without them, this couldn't have happened. Thank you to the volunteers volunteering. <laughs> uh, yes, I am also very grateful for winning the uh, scholarship. Um, this is a dream come true for me, and I too am very grateful. Thank you. We are chatting with athletic fashion designer Dana. Tell us about the launch. So I'm super excited about our new summer collection coming out this week. We're going to be featuring our Hot Yoga Home Buddha pants with really bright colors, really representing the Hot Yoga Home brand. Um, we also have really funky, fun leggings like our Namastasi Yoga leggings, which we actually donate a percentage of our proceeds back to that nonprofit. So we're really excited about the launch of our summer collection. I love them. I definitely need a pair. <laughs> Chatting with the Slack Row Duo. What is the Slack Row Duo? So Rob and I, we term this um, Slack Row Duo because we practice slackline, acro yoga, and there's two of us. It's a practice of acrobatics, therapeutics, and yoga. So there's a base and a flyer, so it really just brings you back to your childhood and it brings um, connection and playfulness and community. It's like Megan said, it's a partner base um, practice. We don't necessarily need a partner because, like she said, we were, we're more about building the community um, and having fun as like a group. Um, so there's always really great people to come and hang out with and play with. So awesome! I can't wait to see you guys in action. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. We're with for the love of water. What brings you here today? So we are product photographers um, and we shoot mostly underwater and we shot the new Namastasi leggings that Dana Lou Fit made for Corbin. Awesome, have so much fun. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. We're talking with Donna, who's the Senior Vice President of Namaste C Yoga. I understand you and Corbin go back. Tell us more. Well, Corbin and I go back to about 2007, where we met at JetBlue Airways and worked together for a, uh, a number of years up in New York. And we developed a really close friendship and our work ethics matched. So um, here I am at Namaste C Yoga. And we want to know more about your role there. Well, as a senior vice president and as a board member of any nonprofit, our main function is to try to develop a fund fundraising program so that we are able to um, host more events like this and send more um, 
people to go to yoga, yoga training. We are with the incredible Monte Knowles, who's not only a yogi, but traveled all the way from the Bahamas to share his work. Thank you for being here. And tell us how you and Corbin connected. Well, Corbin has been obviously uh, interested in the body painting for a long time. And he contacted me, I think, over a year ago. We finally got him down to the Bahamas. We got him painted. He's using the photographs, obviously, to promote the, the charity organization with the yoga. Um, that means a lot to me, and I'm happy to do that. I've used the body painting now for quite a while to paint people who aren't able to appreciate some aspects of their bodies, whether it's mastectomies, scars, um, uh, skin discolorations, amputations, things like that. And with the body painting, they're able to see themselves differently. What a gift. We are on the stage here with Dr. Ben, who's going to use his magical hands for drumming, but I understand you do acupuncture also? That's right. That's how I met Corbin. Corbin's a patient of mine. I practice Chinese medicine, acupuncture, and body work, and I'm part of a taiko drumming team. We're here in South Florida for 26 years. The team is called Fushu Daiko, and we're just so pleased to be here. We just finished up the vinyasa portion and now we're here with Chris Blunt who's all the way from Las Vegas to share more about yin yoga. What exactly is yin yoga and how do you tie into today's event? Uh, well, yin yoga is a slower practice, a little different than your traditional vinyasa flow or ashtanga class. Um, a lot of people refer to it as a deep stretch class. I like to offer people to think of it a little bit more symbolically and it's just an opportunity to hit the pause button on life. We're constantly asked to ask or rather operate at these breakneck speeds. So it's just an opportunity to cultivate stillness and slowing down which is much needed in how we create balance for ourselves. I think we can all use a little more balance. Of course. <laughs> So closing this amazing International Yoga Day is Pam Butler, who is going to share her meditation practice and how to meditate and what is it. Let us know a little bit. Okay, so I got started in meditation about 20 years ago, and I was actually diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, suffering from terrible anxiety, depression, insomnia, and really all the doctors wanted to do was just give me medication and the medication left me feeling worse than I did originally. So my, my reason for getting into it was to help heal myself, but now after healing myself and being able to share my story with others, I now feel called to be able to share with our community. Unbelievable, and thank you for sharing your gift with the community. Thank you, I'm excited to be here. The longest day, but a great and special day. Thank you to Namastasi's third annual International Yoga Day. Like-minded people coming together, sharing the beautiful practice of yoga. Until next time, I'm Bree signing off for United TV, uniting you and the yogis with the world, one video at a time. Namaste.